Hey friends, Elizabeth here from Plant Based Bride, and I'm back again with another Plan With Me video. Today I'm setting up my husband's bullet journal for March 2019. Now you've probably already guessed the theme this month is The Simpsons. Jason has been a fan of The Simpsons for a very long time and has been very insistent that I get on The Simpsons train get on board with The Simpsons. You know what I'm trying to say. I used to watch The Simpsons occasionally with my dad, but I never got super into it. So the most Simpsons I have ever seen has been since Jason and I got together. So most of the images in this setup are things that Jason introduced me to, whether he showed me an image of it first, or if he showed me the episode it came from, all of this kind of came from him. So starting off with the cover page, some of you will recognize this. I'm recreating this commercial that Homer Simpson is in. One of my favorite Simpsons references where Homer thinks he's famous in Japan, but really he's just a logo. <laughs> and just changed up the characters in the speech bubble from what they originally were to say March. And I tried to create the letters in a similar style to the characters that were already being used. I don't know if the characters along the top and in the speech bubble actually mean something. So if you know, please let me know. I'd be really curious. I'm using a combination of my Tombow dual brush pens and my Crayola super tips to get all of the colors I need for the drawing and then just using my Secura Micron pen to outline everything, which is probably the longest part of this process, outlining every single character, especially because I wanted the lines to be as straight and even as possible. Well, it's March already. I've been asked to introduce my Simpsons themed bullet journal. On this channel, Elizabeth obviously takes you through her bullet journaling, but a lot of times she talks about mental health and her experience of self-care and and you know, and her struggles and her successes. This March marks 25 years of kind of the beginning of uh, my journey with post-traumatic stress disorder. I've had a lot of traumatic things happen with a diagnosis that didn't happen until you know 10 or 12 years after the fact. And why I'm talking about this in Simpsons themed bullet journal is because when I was alone, you know, living on my own and and coming to terms with, um, you know, this this new struggle of. Uh, of depression and, and so on. Uh, I didn't have much of a family support system, didn't have really anybody around, uh, but I always had The Simpsons and they were either on in the background or I was you know locked in and laughing with them. And, and really they were who I turned to for a long time to just you know be okay with them and all their quirkiness and their struggles in life. And, and I felt okay with my own. It almost seems silly that a, a comedy show, an animated comedy show can really mean you know, something like that to somebody, but... So now that the cover page is finished, I'm moving on to the monthly, and for all of the writing other than in that cover page, I'm going with the traditional Simpsons font. I found a Simpsons font online and downloaded it so that I could see how the different letters were shaped so that my letters could really have that Simpsons feel. That's something I would highly recommend if you're doing a theme based on a TV show or a movie. If you can find the font for the title of that TV show or movie, it can really evoke feelings of it without much else. You could even just use the font and especially if you're a fan of that thing, it will really bring you back because we really associate the types of fonts used for different shows and movies with those shows and movies. So I'm setting up this monthly as I have in all of Jason's setups, just six by six boxes for every day of the month. I'm then adding a couple little extra drawings around the place inspired by some of his favorite moments of The Simpsons. You've got Mill Pool, you know, when Millhouse breaks his leg and uh, Bart gets distracted by his new pool and he doesn't even sit and support his friend. It's kind of a cruel but funny moment. Obviously the, the classic Simpsons couch in the opening. So I'm doing the classic one where they're just all sitting on the couch together normal. I did consider playing with one of the many funny couch gags that there are, but I felt like it might be good to stick with the classic, just the whole family 
normal <laughs> sitting on the couch. So that's what I went with. This took me a while because I wanted to make sure I got all the proportions right. It's hard with cartoon characters because they are so established and they have such a specific look that if you change the proportions even a tiny bit, they just don't look like themselves anymore. So when I was drawing this out in pencil, I erased and redrew many times before I was happy with how they looked. And I had a reference photo right beside me while I was drawing because I really needed that to make sure that everything looked right. I did struggle a bit in the inking when I was drawing Maggie's hair. I drew it way too close to her eyes and it just looked completely wrong. Again, the proportions were just way off. So I ended up going in and covering up those initial spikes of her hair with a white gel pen and then redrawing them a little bit higher and she looked way better. I think I may have even still drawn them a bit too small, but I think proportionately I drew her a little bit too big in comparison to Lisa, so I didn't want to make them too big because then she would look almost the same height as Lisa, which is obviously not right at all. So I kind of found the middle ground and made them close to where I think they should be, but not too big so that she would still appear to be the smallest of the siblings since she is a baby. <laughs> and then just finishing off with Bart along the end. I considered coloring in this drawing, but once I finished it, I really enjoyed the line art and decided to just leave it as line art. Next, I am drawing this lovely symbol and I'm not gonna say what it is. Jason actually has a tattoo of this symbol on his hand. And if any of you can guess or you know what it is, let me know in the comments. I'd be really curious if any of you can figure out what that symbol is and what episode it's from. I had no idea when he first showed it to me and said he wanted to get a tattoo of it. I did not know what he was talking about, but now I will never forget what the symbol is. And that little one on the side is a pretty deep reference, uh, but for all you Simpsons fans out there, that is dignity, and even the cat can get it. Uh, I have that tattooed on my hand, also as a reminder of you know where I've come in my journey, like I mentioned with my post-traumatic stress disorder. It's a kind of a you are okay thing to see on my hand. And one of my best friends, Nika, also has that tattoo as sort of a, you know, reminding ourselves that we're good enough for ourselves and also for each other. I decided to add some color to the spread just so it wouldn't be completely black and white. So I used the same yellow Tombow I used to color in Homer's skin on the cover page, just to highlight along the top of each week of the calendar, just to differentiate between the weeks and also to add that little pop of color. Now I'm moving on to the weekly and setting up this first week exactly the same as I did last month. So super quick explanation, again, if you are new to my husband setup videos, I split up the left side of the page into seven, a little section for each day of the week. And then on the right side of that page, I have little boxes for him to track his hours for different employers so that he can keep track of his hours and his wage with each different employer so that he can invoice properly at the end of the week or month or whatever the pay period is for that specific client. So those little boxes are to his specifications so that he can stay on top of getting paid. I then used the same Simpsons font to write week one on the left side there and the days of the week. And then notes on the right side, as I've mentioned before, Jason likes to have three blank pages for notes for each week that he can jot in while he's in the studio or sound designing a show, whatever he needs it for. So I leave one blank page and then an entirely blank spread and then do the next week on the next page. Uh, the next one is the B-sharps. This one's very light. It combines my favorite two things at the time, and still to this day, the Beatles and the Simpsons. One of the writers of the show once remarked, you know, he always wanted to be in the Beatles as a kid, but you couldn't really do that, and the Simpsons was the next best thing. So that's a great episode when, you know, Homer is in a barbershop quartet and sees fame and you know, it's a pretty cute moment when the kids get to see their father in a different light, you know, in this fantastic life that he had that they didn't remember. I really took my time with this one to try to get the letters as perfect as possible. They're still not 100% perfect, but I think they look pretty good, especially from a little further away. I then used the same yellow Tombow to fill in just the totals boxes along the weekly so that I could have that same color going through the entire month. 
Next, I have this permission slip on a clipboard. This is for Otto, the school bus driver, and he's requesting double guitars. Otto, the bus driver, living the secret life of a rock star while driving kids to school. He was always kind of a favorite of mine. He was a bit of a simpleton, and you know he'd really just be okay if he just had a guitar. Uh, he could be living in your garage, or you know, or just driving a bus. You know as long as he gets to play his guitar, and that's something I identified with. And of course, getting interrupted by a cat. Are we surprised at this point? Probably not. I used a blue gel pen for the sections that Otto would have filled out himself so that they would be differentiated from the parts of the form that would have been printed, and then used my red Tombow dual brush pen to include the approved stamp. Now moving on to week three, and for this one I'm drawing the I Choo Choo Choose You card that Ralph gives Lisa. I was so glad when you Cho Cho chose me. And then, we, for, and then for week four I'm drawing the In Rod We Trust from the cover of the Times Magazine. And a quick story, on the 20th anniversary of The Simpsons, I wrote to Nancy Cartwright, who plays Bart Simpson, the voice actor, and I tried every email address I could think of, you know, info at Nancy Cartwright, Nancy at Nancy Cartwright, all of them. Well, she got back to me after I told her this story, and it was pretty fantastic. She signed it, Nancy and Bart. That was that was a life goal met. You know, I received an email from, from Bart Simpson, you know, who, who felt like a family member to me. And that's it. That's the entire Simpsons setup for Jason's bullet journal for March 2019. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below if you're a Simpsons fan, and if so, did you recognize all of these images, all of these references? I'm really curious if all of them are really well known or if some of them are a little bit more obscure. I would say I'm a casual Simpsons fan, but I definitely am not a hardcore fan, so I'd be really interested to know how much of it y'all recognized. I want to take a quick moment to thank my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. If you haven't seen my March plan with me yet, I'll link it so you can go check it out. And I did want to mention that if you are interested in any of the little bits and bobs from my setup, I will be providing a bunch of different printables for my patrons from my setup this month. So if you are interested, I'll leave a link to my Patreon if you want to join the family. Earlier today, we had our monthly live stream where I set up a really fun spread that I'll share on my Instagram in a few days. So if you're interested in getting more access to me and hanging out, getting printables, getting live streams, getting to help decide what videos happen, what themes happen, getting to see behind the scenes and spreads before they come out on the general internet, be sure to go check out my Patreon. I would love to have you. I also had a couple requests to create products using especially the cover page pattern from my March plan with me. So I'm looking into making at least a phone case and possibly a mug with those patterns. Let me know if there are other products you'd like to see and those will be up on my Teespring shop. Once I have them finished, the link is in my description. If you're inspired to do your own Simpsons theme, please tag me on Instagram so I can see. I will show every single one to Jason and he loves, loves, loves it when y'all recreate his themes. It's really cute to see. So be sure to tag me on Instagram if you recreate any of it and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye friends.